Hey, I'm Dr. Sam, a physical therapist here with REI Co-op. With the help of Anna, we're gonna de demonstrate some exercises for you. Cross training for hiking is great to really try and prevent injuries and power you up the mountain. For hiking, the exercises we'll focus on are hip roll, jump squats, step up, heel down, bridge with hamstring curl, squat curl overhead press, hip clock, side plank with leg raise. During this video, we'll do a quick demo of each exercise and lay out a basic training plan for you. Remember before starting any exercise to consult your doctor or physical therapist if needed. Hip roll. So we really wanna prep those hips before we get started on some of these other more intense exercises. And the hips are gonna be important to really control the way that that knee's moving and preventing all of this diving in. So really trying to get that full rotation, shooting for 15 reps each side, going through that one time. If that feels a little too hard, you can put your back foot down and turn that way, really still feeling that work happening in that hip, or grab onto something nearby you, maybe a countertop or a chair to stabilize yourself. And just using the chair as much as you need it. Jump squat. We're gonna build explosive power through those quads, those glutes, and those calves as you raise up into that jump. So as Anna's getting ready in that squat, she's making sure again, knees aren't diving together and really trying to land softly. Great, keeping that back straight throughout the movement. Try to do 15 to 20 if you can. To make it a bit easier, Anna's just gonna go up onto her toes and extend through those ankles. Step up. This exercise is a great way to build that power and strength of those glutes and quads to really power you up the mountain and take on those steep inclines. So here we have Anna just coming into a nice balanced position on top of the step. And as you can see, as she's driving her weight up, she's not wobbling through that knee or really leaning forward through it. Try to do 15, take a little break, and then 15 on the other side. Some ways to make it easier, just getting a lower step or, you know, if you're training for backpacking, throwing on some weight in your backpack and using that as you step up. Heel down. This exercise is a great way to work on that control as you descend down the mountain. She's gonna think about keeping her weight back and tapping that heel, staying nice and balanced, not letting that knee go too far forward or wobbling at all. And you can see when she does these that her back is staying nice and straight and not rounding. She's only gonna do a few for us, but try to do 15 each side, taking a short break in between them. If you wanna make it a little bit harder for yourself, you can grab your backpack, throw some weight in it, and do these. A little bit easier, you can find a shorter step, or if you would like, you could come down just to the ground and then think about tapping your heel in front of you. Good. Bridge with hamstring curl. As you get into the bridge with this exercise, you wanna make sure that your back stays nice and straight. So pulling that belly button to the spine and really lifting up into that position through your glutes. And then as you do the curl, maintaining that bridge. Anna's doing a great job here of really focusing on keeping a nice straight back. She's only gonna do a few for us, but try to get through 20 and make sure that you're breathing throughout the exercise. To make it easier, Anna's gonna go ahead and just do some bridges without the hamstring curl. And then to make it harder, she's gonna go into the single leg version. Squat curl overhead press. To really work on boosting that cardio with the squat, as well as if you're lugging around a heavy backpack, the squat curl overhead press exercise really focuses on keeping a nice stable base through your core and your lower body while you're pushing that weight overhead. And you can see here that Anna's not arching her back. She's really trying to make sure that she's staying nice and tall as she pushes overhead. She's only gonna do a few for us, but see if you can do about 15 to 20. And if you feel like the weights are a bit much, you can go ahead and go into a squat with an overhead reach. So still working on building the endurance of those shoulder muscles. Hip clock. As you work through the hip clock, some things to remember are trying to not let that knee wobble. 
and then as you take it into different directions, like Anna is here, not letting your weight shift over. Ideally, you'd run through this about four or five times on each leg for one set. And making sure, as Anna's doing, coming up to a nice tall position between each movement. To make it a little bit easier, try not to go out as far and really focus on that balance part of it. And then to make it harder, go ahead and see if you can squat deeper into each position. Side plank with leg raise. The side plank itself is a good exercise, but with the leg raise, it really works on having that body awareness as you're moving dynamically. She's gonna make sure that her elbow is right underneath her shoulder, and when she lifts, her hip stays in line with her torso. As she raises, she's not wobbling back and forth. Try to do 12 to 15 if you can to make up one set. As you're going through it, don't forget to breathe. And then, if you wanna make it a little bit easier, see if you can drop that bottom knee, and then just lift that top leg. Now that you've gone through that once, take a little break, maybe a couple of minutes, and go back through that two to three more times. When you're thinking about this throughout your week, try to mix it in two to three times with some cardio or, and some rest as well. When you're thinking about your season, see if you can start these exercises six to eight weeks beforehand. Here's a reminder of the exercise list again with a number of suggested repetitions. If you're looking for more information, check out the other cool videos we have on hiking. Nice work.